Britt Hume is back at it. Uh, he hasn't had enough of this. Uh, originally, he told Tiger Woods that he needs to convert to Christianity and that Christianity is a better religion than Buddhism in dealing with his problems. Uh, and apparently, he's unchastened. Uh, he's going to talk to Bill O'Reilly. And, well, let's let him speak for himself. Clip number eight. Uh, real quick, Tiger Woods references Buddhism on uh, Friday in his confessional. I believe that was in direct uh, uh, response to you saying that Christianity might help him because of the tenet of forgiveness. you have anything uh, on that for us? I, I'm not sure Tiger Woods ever heard about what I said. Oh, no, he heard I, about it. <laughs> well, well, maybe. But, but, the, but what I would say about it is this. I thought Tiger Woods showed himself in that presentation to be a, a shaken, chastened, and contrite man. And gone was the swagger, gone was all of the, uh, the radiant self-confidence that we used to see in him. This was a pretty shaken guy up there. Now look, I think, because I'm a Christian and I believe that Christianity is true, that Tiger Woods and his wife Elon would be a lot farther down the road toward, forgiving, uh, toward, toward forgiveness and redemption uh, if, if they were both Christians. But they're not, and I, they're going to do the best they can with what they have, and, uh, and I wish Tiger Woods well. I love that, man. You're right. Nobody else in the world forgives except Christians. Yeah. I mean, earlier... What is that? What is that? <laughs> earlier, he had said... He said uh, he is said to be a Buddhist. I don't think that faith offers that kind of forgiveness and redemption that is offered by the Christian faith. My message to Tiger would be, Tiger, turn to the Christian faith, and you can make a total recovery and be a great example to the world. Buddhists don't forgive? I thought Buddhists were pretty forgiving. And what do you know about Buddhism? What Brit Hume? You, did you study Buddhism? You don't know anything about Buddhism, and I'm not here to defend any of the religions, including Buddhism. But to to say that Christianity is better for forgiveness, redemption, spiritually than than Buddhism is absurd. You don't know anything about his faith, and you know what it is though? It's that Christians they have this mentality, and that's probably why he's on Fox News. These Christian right guys, right? They're like. Well, look, Tiger, you don't know. Christianity is awesome, man. You can do anything you like. You do commit any kind of wrong that That's you want. That's right. And then we get forgiven. It's awesome. It's a get-out-of-jail-free card. Why do you think we're on Fox News? We crush the poor. We support the rich. And then I go to Jesus and I say, forgive me. And he forgives me every time. You should try it out. It's awesome. I just think it's a little weird. He, um, All of a sudden, Elon, his wife, is included. I, I, what does she need forgiveness for? She didn't do anything wrong. He said if both he and Elon turn to the Christian faith, then they can be on the road to forgiveness. I don't know what she did. I thought it's just Tiger that needs forgiveness. Well, so, it's, it's, it's going by because with the Christians, they all want to get you into the group, Christian group therapy, forgiveness thing, wrap the whole family up in it. Yeah, and listen, uh, on Brit Hume, he gets to take this pot shot at Buddhism because how many Buddhists are there in the country? Now, there's a significant number, but not enough, right? And in, unfortunately, the reality of America is, look, if there are some minorities you can mess around with and some you can't, right? So Muslims, you can take any shot you like at them. Uh, Mexicans, you can take almost any shot you like yeah, at them. Yeah, I noticed he's probably not going on telling a lot of Jewish people to go, hey, you should really give up on Judaism and join Christianity. Yeah, uh, imagine if he went to wh whoever it could be, Abramoff, Madoff, whatever, right? It's just somebody. Kondraki, any any of those guys. No, on no, the but right someone who there. did something wrong, right? And he says... Hey, you know, you should really give up being a Jew. Uh, Christianity is a lot better, and you'll find forgiveness and redemption. Because, you know, uh, what did he say about Buddhism? Uh, I don't think that faith offers that kind of forg forgiveness and redemption. You know, I don't think your Jewish faith does. Hmm, you think that's going to fly? No, 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 no. I don't think that's going to fly. Buddhist, so you can pick on. Yeah, Buddhist, come on, yeah. What is that faith about? Come on, Buddha, come on, get real, right? Come on. Nonviolence? What do we have to worry about from them? <laughs> No, it's, these are unbelievable, outrageous comments. Now, one other small side note on this is that he says, you know, he was a shaken man, a chastened man, and, and that gone was the radiant self-confidence. They seem to be basking in it, you know, and that's just totally unrelated to the that's, 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 Look, this, this is human nature monkey stuff where they just get off on someone being taken down a few notches. And a lot of people do. It's not just Brit Hume. It's not Fox News. A lot of people, they like, oh, Tiger, yeah, you were number one, huh? You were number one. <laughs> what happened now? Now you're shaking. Every person out there who's been famous or made money, musician, anything, it all ends at some point, and I guarantee they all deal, look at you now. Yeah. Look at you. Thinking right. you were so bad before. Look at you now. They all hear that.
all the time. It's, it's a human nature thing. Yeah, and, and it drives me crazy. And that's part of why I wanted to stay out of Tiger's life, right? I mean, look, it's all over the news, and we're guilty, and we covered it too, okay? But throughout, we said it is not our business. It's a private matter. He doesn't have to apologize to us. He doesn't have to come and bow his head and be, lose his self-confidence. To anybody. And be a broken man to please me. It ain't got nothing to do with me, okay? It's between him and his wife, and that is it. Whereas people seem to relish in this. And it's one thing if someone, you know, abused the public trust, right? Like that guy who, uh, Duke yeah, Cunningham, I, You know right? what? No, no, I, I don't totally buy that. And, and, I get, and I get why Britt Hume says that. And if you want to really look at a lot of the anger on the right wing, and there's, it's no coincidence they're Christianists, is because they're, they've gone through their life thinking, all right, I can't have sex outside of marriage. I can't have sex with somebody who's a dude, if I'm a dude. And they look at all these things I can't do. I can't get divorced. I can't do this. And then they see other people who don't obey any of these rules having as much success as they want in life and not really worrying about it. So how does that make them feel? It makes them feel, I got gypped. And I'm not going to say I got lied to. I'm not going to say my parents lied to me. I'm going to blame that other guy. So that's, I mean, that's the motivation for a lot of it. No, that is a great point. That's, that is, I hadn't thought of I mean, that when way. You, when you hear Hollywood coming out of any Yahoo in the South preaching, that's what he's talking about. Eh, they, have, they change up their wives, they get divorced however they want, they screw whoever they want. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's why Hollywood's so great. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I hadn't thought of it that way, and that's exactly right. And that's why when uh, Tiger gets knocked down a notch, they're like, yes! No, they all feel like they yes! got chips, man. What? <laughs>